So now we're going to take this awful looking thing, part of this chair I just painted, and redo this. Reupholster it and it needs a new a cushion foam or whatever. So, first, of course, we have to take these things out. I mean, this fabric will just pull off, but we have to get these off. And more or less loosen them. And pull them out. So I will pull all these out. So I'm down to the last couple of staples. This made a handy tool. One more. Oh, and that's going to be a tough one. in there deep. So, let me throw this stuff away. Okay, so I'm going to turn it over and take this off. You can see that this is what was on it. And now I'm going to use some batting that I have from an old pillow. Now, I'm not real sure how to do this because I couldn't find anything about it even on YouTube. The only thing I found was how to re-upholster with foam. And I want to use batting because I have a bunch of old pillows full of batting and I want to reuse it. Plus, that's more or less what was on there already. So, I am going to use this batting. I definitely will have to cut this here. So, I'm going to do that. Using my good fabric shears makes me nervous because I don't generally use them for anything but fabric. And I hope this isn't going to dull them. So, but man, do they cut good. Now, yeah, this is what we were setting on. Pretty gross, eh? So, oh, I think this is just about right. It's over just a little bit, but not too much. And we'll scrunch it in when we put the fabric on top. Now, the next thing is to glue it down. And I should use the fabric spray glue, but I just remembered that I lent it to my daughter. So... We're going to use this fabric glue, just kind of spread it out. But this should work too. It's fabric glue and it shouldn't take a whole lot just to kind of keep it in place. So when you're setting on it, it's not scrunching all over the place. A little bit more right here. Let's see, this is how I laid it out, right? Okay, I'm 
Now this is the fabric I chose to recover it. This is an old balance from a set of curtains I have. And again, I saved this because I just love this fabric. It's so pretty. And the cat was sitting on it, so I'll have to get that cat hair off later. But I saved it. I had it put away, and it's come in handy because it's going to be real pretty on this chair. So now I have to cut this down. Cut this side off. Now you guys know I'm terrible at measuring, so this is the part that scares me because I, you know, I, I don't measure and I'm afraid I'm going to get things too close for comfort. I want to make sure I have plenty of fabric, enough on this side, enough on this side. All right, now, by looking at the tutorials, there's a whole lot of different ways to do it. And one of them is to start in the center and then pleat, but I do have too much fabric, so let's kind of round this off on this side. I think I will staple the ends first. Handy power shot. This is what I used a lot in making my chicken feet. Push that under, pull it tight, 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 tight. Need a hammer. I don't think it's the stapler's fault. It's that I never push down quite hard enough. I have to push down really hard. Well, hmm. well in any case. Now, let's get the bottom done. Then I can better tell what has to be cut off. Tight, tight, tight as I can get it. Oops. And 
and I think that's part of the trick of doing this is to get it as tight as you can. Probably another set of hands would have helped to stretch, but there's none here, so. Real tight as I can. Let's take a peek, shall we? Oh. Cut, cover up my holes for the screws. Yeah, let's not do that. There's one. I have to cut those out. I want to push that in there. Tight. Let's do one more for now. Turn it around. Now I'm going to cut this because I have the hem there. Don't need that. I don't have the strongest hands in the world, so this is a tricky part. <sighs> I think I did too tight on that one. What do you think? We don't want to have a divot like that. On the other hand, I do want it tight. I think it'll work itself out. I'm going to leave it. Now, the corners. Maybe my hands are stronger than I thought. Yep. No, I was going to say I may have put too much foam in, but no, I want it as much padding as possible. I do think it's just going to all kind of fill in where it's supposed to be. Our butts will smash it out the way it's supposed to be. Okay, we're going to do it this way. Tight. And staple. Tight, tight, tight. Stay Over this way. Stay 
Now I will have to put a whole lot more staples, but I just want to get things laid out first before I finish it, in case I have to take some off and start over. I think that looks good, that corner. So we'll see what we can do with the other corners. See if we can get the rest of them to look like that and get ready to put the seat back on the chair. So I have the corners done and this is kind of how it looks. Well, this is how it looks. <laughs> and then I think I'm satisfied. So I'll go around while I'm out of staples. So we'll fill that up and I will staple all along here. And then we'll put the chair back, the chair seat back on the chair. I have the seat put back on the chair. I've got three of the screws screwed in. I've just got the last one to do. It is so very simple to take a chair apart and put it back together. And then this is my chair. And what's left is to decoupage. And I'm going to put it right there. This is what I found to use. And it's uh, something with a little red and gold. I had to kind of match my fabric here. So I will get the Mod Podge and be right back. So I measured the center to make sure this is nice and centered. Mod Podge and Deco Podge is so super easy to do. That's why I guess it's one of my favorite crafts. You just slap some on just to kind of get it on there. Uh oh. Center it. Even it out. Just a hair off. Mod Podge. This stuff is amazing. It's not very expensive. And if you don't have it, you can just take Elmer's glue and some water. Cut the glue with water and make your own. So this is a very economical craft as well. Another plus for me. And then you, you want to carefully pull it out so there's no ripples. And bubbles. Kind of rub it. I found this little piece in a oops in a magazine, and it just kind of fit for this. I may add more on here later but just for right now we're going to go with that now when it dries I will give it another coat so here's the finished chair I think it turned out pretty good Let's see how it feels. <laughs> Comfortable. So, thanks for watching my video, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.